So a very good morning to you from um, the Cairn Gorms up here in Aviemore, Glenmore. Another tour for you today, you guys, of just a, another, I mean, the weather's just crazy good. It's just crazy for this time of the year. So I'm really just trying to get these uh, tour videos in while it's like this, you know what I mean? So what we're going to do is, you see the bridge there? We've been up sort of canoeing. I want to just take you down that side of the, the, the river and that side of the river. Um, I think it just looks better walking this way in both times, so I'll just double back when I get down to the end, when we get down to the loch. But yeah, here we are. So pretty much to our right is the caravan site, and straight ahead is Loch Morlock itself, and probably back off to our left is the mountains. So uh, I'm going to try and give you a view of just about everything I can. But yeah, I mean, we've been coming up here since I was a little boy, you know, so it's it's been a... You know, and now that we've got our own kids and whatnot, we come up here quite often, obviously. Try and come about twice a year. Because, you know, uh, you know, caravan holidays are very inexpensive. Very, very inexpensive. So it always makes good sense. But what do you think, you guys? Isn't it beautiful? You see that gravel on the bottom makes the, the river look a bit golden, you know? And up it goes, and obviously when we come back up here in the summer or late summer, um, you know, I'll, I'll find some other places that we can go. And you know, it's quite strange up here. You know, when you get to certain points, you feel very remote, like you're in a very remote part of Scotland. But you're not really, not in this day and age. So I'll try and shut up a little bit during this uh, particular tour because the birds are out. And what are we, about 11 o'clock in the morning, maybe? And there's folk out in their canoes and stuff, so... Don't want to disturb them. But yeah, usually down here they've got ferns, you know, you're up to about your waist in ferns. You'll see they're all dead at the moment. When the summertime comes, this place will just light right up again. Very, very green indeed. I think we're going to do a, a campfire as well. For you guys. I'll show you guys how to make, for those of you that might have never done it, I'll show you how to make a campfire from this stuff. It doesn't matter we've got all modern conveniences, we're still out in the, the sort of wilderness, and this is called Old Man's Beard. And it's really flammable, because when you've got it really dry, and uh, you can pretty much make a, a fire out of anything, you know. But yeah, the lock's just a couple of minutes down the way, so it won't be long. And if I do go quiet, it's just to give people peace and quiet. They're having fun out in the canoes. As you can see, look at that. Let's come away from the river just a little bit and we'll take this path here. Here we go. Excuse me, you guys. We're coming across some people now. The river's very, very high. And normally you can just sort of step off down here and walk along right out to the loch, but it's, it's right up just with the melting snow. As you'll see, the mountains are still very sort of covered in snow, you know. Hiya, how you doing? Hi. Come on. Let's have a little look, yeah, you see, just, you can normally walk across this part here. Let's have a look, we're not going anywhere, you guys. I'll circle. 
work all round day. But the next part of the tour, I'm going to get across to there and walk along the side there. And where the sun is, it should look absolutely brilliant. Let's see. Oh, a bit off roading. Here we go. Can we get out down there? No, we can't. No, it's all covered as well. Normally, can we can walk right out. Yep, covered as well. Down here, here we go. Here we are, guys. How's that? As you can see, this bit's normally all just a big sandbar, even right out to there normally. But the, the lock is really high. Let's get out a little bit at least. Let's see. Yeah, Mr. Duck. You can just see how beautiful the mountains are just now, you guys. And the sun, we just couldn't have asked for any kind of better weather, you know that? It's a shame I can't get right out to the point there, but never mind. It's just brilliant, you guys. Hey, it's just awesome. So you look out, there's a mountainside just there, like up top. The caravan site's right there, you know, runs right along there. So we're in there somewhere. And as you can see, there's a lots of people hiring the canoes and whatnot coming out today. Have some fun. I'm going to try and get in the canoe myself, I think. Right, guys, so what I'll do is I'll switch off, double back, and then we'll head down to the other side of the river, down the other side of the river bunk. So here we are you guys, down the other side this time. Now that walk really does take you into such a beautiful part, but I think we'll maybe do that next time. So, just give you a quick, quick look at where we're at. There's the bridge you guys. I think we'll have a wee wander down here, around the other side. It's so good for families this place. Yeah, we'll break away from the river a little bit here just to sort of circle out and come back in on it again. But boy, couldn't ask for a better day really, you know. It's just amazing. It is amazing, I don't use that lightly, you know. It's, it's a hit or miss whether you get good weather up here, you know. I mean, it's, this is actually one of the places where, you know, it just doesn't matter what the weather's like. It's still just beautiful, you know, whatever state that it's in, you know. So, yeah, guys, this is really pushing me physically just now and c continuing on with the rehab, you know. So, apologies for the heavy bees and I'm kind of pushing quite hard. Yeah, they don't come down this side all that often. Although there's a great fishing spot just around the corner that I'm going to sort of finish this this uh, tour on, and you'll see why. You know, again, one of those places that doesn't really seem to matter if you catch fish or not. You know, it's just the kind of being there that's awesome. You know. There you are. So obviously, there's the 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 path we took down to that side. We're not taking that side this time. There's some trees down which they they leave in. It gives a wee bit of um, gives uh, the you know the canoes a wee features to sort of go around and stuff. It's quite cool. Oh, the heather's still out, of course. 
and it'll be blooming a bit in the summer as well. I'll get some really, you know, really beautiful colours. But most of these trees up here are evergreens, you know, so it's, it stays sort of green all year round. So what I think I'll do, once I get to the end, I think I'll turn the camera to the side and just walk along the lock and give you guys a really good look. We'll cut through there. Yeah. That's a wee bit lazy of me, but just not sure, you know, if, if, you know, probably get cut off over there because the lock is so high, it's very, very high. Not, not the way it used to be. I've got a bit of wind now as well, so I'm trying to cover up the mic. I will go along here. I think this is pretty much the exposed side, you know. Let's have a little look around. As you can see, you know, all along this bank is this gravelly. Um, it's a, it is gravelly, you know, it's not really like sand. So yeah, that's the point I would have liked to have taken you out to, but that's okay. Oh, sorry you guys. Check it out. And you know when the, the lock's like a mill pond, you know, like it's just absolutely flat. Canoeing just isn't any effort at all. So I'll try and get you guys out there as well. Don't know what that dude's trying to do with us. Oh, he's stuck. Yeah, so let's see if I can just cover the mic. And walk along, and I'll turn the camera to the side. Give you guys a good look. Pretty much, you know, if you were to mark out 10 feet from the bank, that's where the water line normally is. But obviously all the snow, you know, is coming, is um, melting and coming down the various barns and streams and of course the river we've just been to as well. But you can pretty much, way over there, you can pretty much walk all the way around the loch. But uh, I think I'd rather do that on a bike, a push bike that is. You know, I used to take the motorbike along it. I think I get a few complaints, don't you think? Yeah, you see, normally you can walk right along this bank and you can, as you can see in front of us, the water's right in. Oh, the wind doesn't spoil us. Yeah, look, it's, comes, it's coming right in. And oh wow, it has been even higher, look. That whole bit there's just filled up. I've never seen that before. And the path's all wet as well. Yeah, so let's take you back up over to the point, you guys. Let's go. So you see what I mean? Isn't it just beautiful? It's an amazing place. And I don't use that amazing word lightly. It is. It really is. guys out in their canoes. We've actually got our own canoe which we take up with us at the moment. Obviously needs someone to help me on and off the car with it. Well not help me, help Sharon on and off the car with it. Yeah, until I'm a bit stronger. But hopefully we'll get back out again. Just ace, you can imagine this up in the summer, you guys. I think we've had a campfire around this side. We, we normally try to have a campfire every time we come to you know, a certain place like Loch Ness or Glenmore or something, but it's not always possible, you know. You try and get all the dry sticks and whatnot. We'll certainly collect up some old man's beer today and be prepared. The weather forecast is certainly good for the rest of the week, so let's hope so. Time to take some photos, I think. Eh? So, listen, you guys, I'm so glad you enjoy these tours, and I just hope this little run of Aviemore to, uh, tours and whatnot are uh, really enjoyable because I'm certainly enjoying doing them. It's uh, great to have you along, and God bless you. Thank you so much.